five little children the ages between 9 to 12 were playing in their courtyard like any other day suddenly vanished in the thin air and were found dead later on so what exactly happened with these children before i tell you the entire story if you're new to my channel please subscribe it if you like the story please do share it with your friends and family so that they can also join the channel and listen to these stories and please do not forget to press the bell icon i upload my stories twice a week sometimes thrice a week so you will get a notification and you will be able to hear these stories then and there so let's start with today's story now today's story is from siberia this case happened in 2005 there was this small neighborhood community a very safe neighborhood five children were staying in this neighborhood they were studying in the same school they were close friends they had this regular routine like any other children that after coming back from school after having their lunch completing their homework around in the evening time they used to go downstairs play with each other then by the time it was getting dark they used to come back home have dinner with their parents so this was a regular routine for them on the day 16th april 2005 this child he is 11 years old maxim he came back from school he ate his lunch he completed his homework after that in the evening around 4:30 he asked his mother if he can go downstairs and play with sasha sasha was maxim's friend so the mother allowed and she said that maxim has to return by 7 before the dinner time so maxim agreed and he went downstairs started playing with sasha when mother peeped outside she saw that both the children were playing in the courtyard and this was a regular routine for them it was a very safe neighborhood so she started doing her work meanwhile she could hear children laughing and giggling later on the children were joined by another three children their names were safar galesh and dimitri all the five children were playing in the courtyard this was a very regular thing and the parents from time to time they peeped outside the window they saw their children playing in the courtyard and they knew it was safe for them now children they planned to go to the schoolyard to play near the swing and for parents it was a very normal thing because usually these children used to go to the schoolyard and play on the swing so they were okay with it Now in the evening it was around 7 when the children did not return so Maxim's parents who were waiting for Maxim for dinner they got worried so they went downstairs they saw Sasha Safar Galesh and Dimitri's parents standing there all the parents were worried because the children did not return home so they started searching the area but they couldn't find the children so they informed the police around 9 so the police came they joined the search they started searching the neighborhood area school yard courtyard but children were not found they kept on searching the entire night but children were not found so they decided to continue the search next morning parents were worried mothers were crying they wanted the children back and they told the entire thing to the police so the police knew that this area was very safe but they said that maybe the children wandered somewhere so next morning the search continued they searched nearby industrial areas they searched the deserted island with motor boats but the children were not found later on the case became a national news because media covered this case the parents gave interview in different channels so it became a national case so around 18000 police officers and volunteers joined the search they kept on searching different areas for these children the search continued for a week and then for a month where around 15000 basements and attics were searched 45000 homes were searched many areas were searched for many days but they couldn't find the children then one day after a month in may they got a call from a couple the couple went for a jog in the forest area there they smelled something unusual 
from a dry sewage well when they peeped they saw some sort of body so they informed the police the police came searched the entire area searched the sewage well in this dry sewage well they found the bodies of these five children badly burned so they informed the parents they called them for the identification but the parents were not able to identify the children because the bodies were badly burned but they were able to identify their children by their belongings now the mothers were crying the fathers were crying they all were upset the entire siberia the entire russia the people from different backgrounds different places they were sad for these children it was covered by newspaper covered by media news channel everywhere there was a shock wave in the entire nation that what has happened with these five children who can do such a thing now the police did not find any sort of evidence of kidnapping so they came up with two theories first theory was that these children were aware of this area they were aware of this dry sewage well so they went inside this well they went down it was a very narrow sewage well so they didn't had many uh, lot of space so they were standing very close to each other then they thought of making a bonfire so they had this matchstick and fuel with them so they tried to make a bonfire but then as soon as they lit the fire they caught up in the fire they were not able to climb back so they got badly burned and died on the spot the second theory was that these children were kidnapped from the schoolyard then when this news became a national news kidnappers were scared and after abusing the children these kidnappers killed murdered these children and then they throw the body in the dry sewage well and they burned the body so these were the two theories but since the police couldn't find any evidence so it was never established as to what exactly happened to these children so this was the entire case which sent a shock wave in russia and uh, it was a big case it was covered by media so you can read about this case online as well and if you like the story please do share it with your friends and family subscribe the channel i will come up with another story on monday based on a real incident till then bye